you write JavaScript, log a variable, and boom, undefined, or even a scary reference error. What just happened? Let's finally understand what's going on once and for all with a real story. Meet Sam. Every morning, Sam goes to a coffee shop. One day, before the waiter even arrives, Sam shouts, I'll have my regular coffee. The waiter is confused. Um, we haven't even given you the menu yet, sir. Turns out, they changed the menu yesterday. No more regular coffee. This is exactly what happens when you try to use a variable before declaring it. You're shouting at JavaScript. Give me the value. But JS says, hold on. I haven't seen that variable yet. Now let's reveal the real twist. JavaScript does know that the variable exists. It just hasn't given it a value yet. Why? Because of something called hoisting. Hoisting means lifting or moving something above. JavaScript moves all declarations, not values, to the top of the scope. Let's first understand the difference between declaration and initialization. Declaration is when you tell JavaScript that a variable exists. Initialization is when you assign a value to it. Check the example on the screen. Here we have declared a variable called coffee and assigned its value to latte. So var coffee is the declaration and coffee equals latte is the initialization. When we run this code, we see undefined. Not an error. Because behind the scenes, JavaScript rewrote the code like this. So var is hoisted and initialized as undefined. Only the declaration part is lifted or hoisted to the top of the scope. This is called hoisting. It only affects declarations. Initializations stay where they are. That's why coffee equals latte. This remains on the same place or line. This is the first rule you have to remember. We saw the use case with var. What about let? Now we will see how let and const behave. See this example. Here, we tried to log the value of t before it was declared and initialized. But this time, we get a reference error. That means JavaScript has no reference to the t variable at that point. Surprising, right? It shows that let behaves differently from var. Let's take a closer look to understand what's really going on. Because variables declared with let and const are also hoisted. But they are kept in something called the temporal dead zone. What does that mean? Well, temporal dead zone is the time between when the scope starts and when the variable is declared. The scope starts here and the variable is declared here. During this time, the t variable is in the temporal dead zone, which means in this period, the variable exists, but you are not allowed to touch it. Think of it like this. You are at an event. There is a gift with your name on it. But the host says, don't touch it until I officially hand it to you. If you touch it too early, boom, reference error. Let's summarize this in one simple table. So, yes, hoisting happens for all. But only var is accessible before the line where it's declared but not let and const. This is the second rule you need to remember. So far, we have seen hoisting in global scope. Now, let's check what happens inside block scope. Check the code example shown on the screen. Here, the rule is also same. Block scoped variables like let and const hoist within that block only will not go out of the block and are still in temporal dead zone. And var is function scoped, not block scoped. So, it still works badly, even inside a block. Simple. Now see what happens for functions. Function declarations are fully hoisted. 
including the body. So you can call greet before it's declared and it works fine. But this doesn't work because say bye is a const. So it follows the temporal dead zone rule, not the function rule. Same rule applies to the arrow functions. So function declarations and function expression works differently. Here are my tips or best practices to avoid hoisting confusion. Always declare variables at the top of their scope. Use let and const. Avoid var. Don't rely on hoisting. It's a behavior, not a feature. Structure your functions to read top down. Use linters like eslint. They can catch temporal dead zone bugs. Here's the mindset tip I promised. Think of hoisting as JavaScript's pre processing stage. It scans your code before running it, pulling up declarations, but not their values. So next time your code acts weird, don't panic. Check for hoisting. Check for temporal dead zone. And write your code like you respect the timeline. Thanks for watching this complete guide to JavaScript hoisting. If this helped you, like the video, write a comment. Hoisting makes sense now. Subscribe for more ClearJS lessons. Keep learning and keep building. See you next time.